My name is Jared Polin, and I'm a photographer. And if there's one thing I've learned over the years is that networking is the key to success. So I wanted to see how far photography could take me simply by word of mouth. Who will I meet? Where will I go? And what will happen next? Well, there's only one way to find out. Welcome to Six Degrees of Photography. Jared Poland, fronosphoto.com, and welcome back to another episode of Six Degrees. Now on the first episode of Six Degrees, I photographed former NFL punter Steve Weatherford, who got to make the next connection, and that's how I got to Lewis Howes. Now if you don't know who Lewis is, he is a New York Times best-selling author, public speaker, former quarterback in the Arena Football League, and also one of the top podcasters in the world with a podcast called The School of Greatness. So I had to fly out to LA to meet with Lewis, and that is where this photo story is gonna start. All right, let's start flipping through this book, and the first picture is of Lewis in his apartment building right before we were heading to a meeting. Now, to take you back just a little bit, it's kind of cool that Lewis works out of his apartment in Hollywood. On one side, he has his bedroom where he sleeps, and then in the other room, it's where he does all his interviews. Now, he's interviewed some of the largest people in the world, the most influential athletes and musicians and artists and, and other podcasters, and it's pretty awesome to know that he can do this out of where he's living. Now, I only had a good four, five, six hours, a, a limited amount of time to photograph Lewis, but I think that still was enough time to get a great photo story, and this image right here, where we're getting in the elevator to head down to go basically a mile down the street to a very important meeting was pretty cool, and we picked up an Uber, we got in the back of the car, we got down the street, and now, we're sitting in an interesting place that I never thought I'd be sitting in because you never know who you're gonna meet on these photo shoots. And this so happens to be Scooter Braun's office. And if you don't know who Scooter Braun is, he is the manager of Justin Bieber and a ton of other musicians. He is one of the most influential managers of our generation and we're sitting in their office because Lewis was about to do a movie pitch for one of the people that work at this office and I got to sit in and listen to this. Now that again is one of the cooler things that I get to do is be a fly on the wall and listen to these pitches and listen to these stories and meet other highly influential people. And this was just waiting to go in to that office to, to make that pitch. And so that's why I got down low. I did some of those wide angle shots to establish the scene, a little tighter shot to just get Lewis waiting and figuring out what's gonna happen next. And then we go into the meeting. I mean, just look at the wall of plaques here. You've got uh, platinum records. You've got a ton of Justin Bieber plaques. You've got some Call Me Maybe. You've got Psy back there. And it's interesting when people let you into their world. And the best thing that anybody could do that I'm photographing is introduce me to the people that he's meeting because that will take away a lot of the fear of what am I there to do? Because Lewis explained what Six Degrees was to Scooter and to the other people in the meeting, and that instantly made a connection. They're like, oh, who have you photographed? Where are you going? Where do you wanna go next? And that was great to, to then allow them to, to speak to me and then make them more comfortable with my story because as you start to tell them the names of the people you're photographing, it opens all the doors and they just get more relaxed. And just getting these nice shots of Lewis sitting at the table working tight and then the, the just like the contemplative listening to what everybody is saying, this makes for a great story. And of course, sitting in this office and seeing all the plaques in the wall really hammers it home. And then Scooter walked in and I've never met Scooter, I've only heard the stories of how influential he is in the industry, and the first thing he did was ask, how did you end up here with this degree? And that told me right there that this is a really great project because everybody wants to know who'd you shoot first or where are you gonna go next, and again, you never know where photography is going to take you. Now, some of you may be wondering, why didn't I take a film crew 
on a shoot like this? Well, honestly, these are very intimate moments and I want the subjects that I'm photographing to be really relaxed. And if I had a film crew there recording audio, they may watch what they're saying or they may be self-conscious and I just wanna focus on capturing the images. It's just me, it's my cameras, and it's the subjects that I'm photographing and this makes them much more comfortable when I'm out there shooting. You know, they're, they're talking about movies, they're talking about scripts, they're talking about ideas and I'm just here listening to all this and making sure that I'm not getting in the way. I don't interject, I try not to make a lot of noise, I just stay in the corner like a fly on the wall and just capture the moment. And that's what's so cool about photo stories. Now, wrapping up this entire section, Lewis stood outside with one of his uh, business acquaintances and I took some wide photos there because it's kind of cool to see the office. It's always good to establish the location or so people know where you are. You've seen the boardroom, you've seen the meetings, you've seen the people involved. Now you get to see the outside. You get to see the talking and then the handshakes and then we head back to the apartment. Now, before we move on with the photo story, I wanna thank Squarespace for being the sponsor of this photo story. And if you'd like to see a website built using Squarespace, go to Frodo Story. Stories.com. Now, if you'd like to build your very own website, go to squarespace.com slash photo to get a 14-day free trial. And if you decide that it's for you, use the code photo at checkout to save 10% off your entire first order. Now, let's get back to the photo story. So here we are back at the apartment. Now, Lewis has a couple of people that help him take photos and help him take video, and they're also editors. This is how he's built such a large social media presence. He always is creating content and putting it out into the world, and that's what I'm capturing right here with this wide shot. He's watching back one of those videos that has a bunch of the inspirational words going across it, and he's waiting to approve it. And I just thought it'd be good to come around to get different angles, uh, capture the people working before we move on. And, and he's also, this is where he's coming up with the ideas for the captions. And that's why he's just thinking here. He's got his hand on his chin and he's coming up with these ideas. It's always interesting to see how people work, especially the successful people, because there's so much that you can learn from them. And that's another great thing about the Six Degree Project. Not only do I meet awesome people, but these are successful people that I can learn from. And also you can follow them on social media and learn a lot of their secrets. So. Another thing that happened is I noticed that there was this, this balcony. It was a covered balcony in Hollywood where Lewis's apartment is. And there was a nice light coming in. There was a sofa where I asked Lewis to sit down because I thought this would be a great opportunity to get some portraits. So he sat there, he smiled, we took a couple of portraits, and this is where he started to tell me about an idea he had for his next book called The Mask of Masculinity. Now, I took this picture right here that you see, and this was an awesome portrait done with the 105, the Nikon 105 1.4. And Lewis is telling me what his vision is for the next cover of his book. And he's going, I kind of want it to look like this photographer and this type of light and this type of tight portrait headshot thing. And I sat there, I turned the camera around and I said, you mean like this? And he goes, yeah, that's the cover of the book. Now I never set out in this project to make money with it, but I ended up getting paid for the cover photo for this book, the book in Europe, and the book also in Germany. So again, you never know where photography is going to take you. I didn't set out to get a cover photo for his book. I didn't even know he needed it. But when I took the shot and he said, that's exactly what I want, well, that's exactly what he got. He got the cover of the book. I made a couple of bucks to help fund this project. And again, that's the power of networking and you never know where photography is going to take you. Moving on, this is the School of Greatness set. He's got millions and millions of downloads and every time he puts out a new podcast, it ranks up there in the top 10 of podcasts around the world. And Lewis was just sitting here doing some work. He also had some studio lights set up so it made it easier for getting images, but the set looks just tremendous. And even in the limited amount of time that we had to do this photo shoot, I was able to tell the story and this is the glue that helps keep the photo story together. 
here. We have the portraits. We've got the going out and, and doing uh, meetings. We've got the working shots here in the School of Greatness studio. And man, these photos look great either in this photo book or on the back of the book or for his social media because a lot of these images of him focused ended up turning into social media posts with influential statements on them. And that's what's cool, again, about being a photographer and capturing these moments, is that you, you never know where these photos are going to be used. You never know what's gonna come out of it. And again, just getting these great shots of him working are awesome. I love showing the extra wide shots because you can see the entire studio from the lights to the lockers where I took some portraits of Lewis, which are great for social media buttons and just, anything, because he can use these photos for just about anything. And, and, and for the last part of the day, for the time that Lewis had with me, we went to one of the largest agencies to sit in on a meeting. Now, I'm again just listening, and you would think that people would be a little more scared that I'm there taking photos, but really, once we walked into the room, Lewis introduced me, what I'm doing, and again, the people were like, well, that's a cool project. Who'd you photograph so far for this six degrees? That's really cool. Well, again, that gave me the, the ability to just sit there and capture images as he is leading this discussion with, a, with one of the largest agencies in the world. And here you can see him talking with Scooter Braun. I got this awesome tight shot of Scooter where you can see that there's two out of focus people and I'm shooting through the middle to get a really nice tight portrait of, uh, of Scooter when he's here, a thinking portrait of Lewis. And basically that wrapped up the photo story with Lewis. Again, we didn't have a ton of time to do it, but even if you have four or five hours, you can still capture great photo stories. I got cover photos out of this photo shoot. And beyond that, you're gonna see in the future that I'm gonna really start taking those portraits, those headshots with that 105, 1.4 from Nikon. And thinking back to the first photo story with Steve Weatherford, the reason you don't see a portrait of him shot with that lens is well, it wasn't a thing until it became a thing with Lewis Howes and getting that cover really made it a thing for future photo stories. So what's next? Well, that's up to Lewis to tell me who the next degree is going to be and where they're at in the world. So to find out who that's gonna be and where I'm gonna head, check out the next episode of Six Degrees. And that's where I'm gonna leave it. Jared Polinfronosphoto.com. See ya.